Chaplain of the Queen's Chapel of the Savoy. Welcome to members of the Imperial Society of Knights Bachelor as we reflect together on the Christmas story. When we gathered in the chapel in December 2019, we had expected to meet again in December 2020. We will meet again, and that brings us hope in dark times, as does the promise of the new and abundant life heralded by the angels who witnessed the birth of the Christ child. In this moment, we are particularly attentive in our prayers to those of our company who have died in the past year, and among them hold in our thoughts David Barnes, Clive Coleman, John Charlestry, Neil Douglas, Alex Jarrett, Sterling Moss, Alan Parker, Roger Scruton, John Sparrow, and Peter Vickers. Rest eternal grant unto them, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Those who have helped in the recording of this service, join me in wishing you a blessed Christmas. Let us pray. My brothers and sisters, in the name of Christ, welcome to this carol service. Christmas draws near, 
and we prepare for our celebration of the birth of God's beloved Son. Through the days of Advent, we follow the light of Christ, and we travel in spirit with Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem to acclaim with the multitude of the heavenly host the coming of the Prince of Peace. Through scripture and silence, prayer and song, let us hear again the wonderful story of our redemption, and hearing, let us rejoice and respond with lively faith. Amen.
The first lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2, 6, and 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Here ends the first lesson. The second lesson is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. The birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But, just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfil what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Thanks be to God.
The third lesson is from John chapter 1 verses 1 to 14 and speaks of the incarnation of the word of God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Here ends the lesson. Let us pray. The Collect for Christmas Eve. Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, we may with your confidence behold him when he shall come to be our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. And the society's collect. Almighty and eternal God, we thank thee on this day for our forebears 
who by their vision gathered in the spirit of faith and service to form the unity of the Imperial Society of Knights Bachelor. Grant to us the same vision and the strength of heart and mind to uphold their purpose, united in fellowship to honour and serve our Sovereign Lady, the Queen, her crown and her dignity. This we pray in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you. 